So I will show you how it works this uh, Arduino 737 project and ProSim. We are going to the Arduino 737 project. Here are all features what it can be assigned or controlled by this this project. Uh, this it is it, it is it works this uh, Arduino Mega 2560. Here you can download the latest actually it is aborted project but it works fine now we are going to the arduino ide but we need to do some one one thing we are going to the line we are going to the line 151 And we need to open one thing. You see device ID. Before it was just commanded with this signs. You need to delete this. Now I will delete this. I will save. Save the file. And after that, it's I actually I have uploaded already. You need to check the Arduino boards and comport. Here in my example, it's comport is 24. It's okay. And now you can upload. Okay. Upload it and you're ready. And you have installed already uh, Arduino 737 project on your computer. We are going now to the Arduino 737. Run. Here you see this graphic user interface. Very easy. Very, very easy. And a lot of things you can control. It is buttons, it is server, it is encoder, it is outputs, uh, what else? And seven segment and seven segments uh, model, by the way. I am using just just for example, I am using pin twenty four. Pin twenty four. And you see the label of uh, for this pin it is one zero two four. It is prosim label. You can write down this one uh, on the paper. Here I'm checking the baud rate. It should be <coughs> nine thousand six hundred. Uploading. Upload complete. Disconnect. Yeah, it is upload, uploaded, and you see it is again, it is prosim label 1024. And it's okay. Now we will go to the prosim. It should be disconnected after that. After uploading, we are disconnect project, project 77, Arduino 77. We just starting prosim. I have used uh, the demo version here. Okay. Okay, accept ProSim 727 version 2. Next one. Next one, we have to check how it works. We have to check this one, not here. This is driver. In the driver, we should be. We should check everything. And we should check the TCP IP also, and we should check the speed or baud rate. Because there we have 9600, 9600. Here we should do the same. TCP IP, COM port, generic COM port. Generic COM port here. Yes, baud rate is 9600. 9, it's okay. Okay. Now we are going to the configuration, the main and configuration. This one, I mean the solenoid and all these start switches here in the gates, in the gates, uh, at the gates page. Here are a lot of things. And after that, we are going to the solenoid. You see, start one solenoid. We now need this one because it's pushed back. Uh, it's, yeah, we need this one. It's COM port 24. Yeah, 
yes and the prosim label 1024 and that's okay now we, we are checking here baud rate is 900 9600 it's okay and it should work now now i will start the <clears throat> now we need to start simulator in my case it's prepared 3d prepare it is not a physics or something else we now need mobi flight i just will uh, i need to de de delete this one from the start change we call the plane prosim any of prosim in my example the first one it is american airlines okay no problem here okay and we are starting the flight and we are starting the model model itself <clears throat> it is loading not so fast but it is loading okay now we will check everything this unfortunately i have not external camera and in this case i will just okay i will just uh say what is happening this because i have connected instead of solenoid i have connected the uh led green light red light that's anyway it doesn't matter i see the engine is running we need to stop the engines we are going to the not here we are going to the panel upper mid stop the engines returning to the panel to the overhead returning to the overhead now we have to run the apu usually i'm doing it before the stopping the stop stopping the engine <clears throat> now we are just waiting and one is almost zero it's okay apu is starting close recirculation to this passenger compartment now we are waiting the APU come on APU is ready we are just switching this one on board and the buses will be there two one it's okay now it's zero and one zero and two zero it's okay now we will start <clears throat> actually it should be engine two first but as soon as my led is connected to the engine yeah and i have the green light green light it means that the solenoid is on now i am waiting the at least 2022 20, engine one engine fuel cutoff levers in idle position and we are checking here it's 20 this 30 and two as soon as we as it will be 56 the <clears throat> engine start switch will return to the off position and it will release the magnet the solenoid and solenoid will just close and that's it 51 2 3 4 5 6 and the light from the led is, is off that's it it works it works fine and i think it is very easy way to connect or uh, to connect this solenoids or anything else to the your your simulator or this uh, using prosim you know 
And especially you should remember this one project, uh, Arduino, Arduino 737 project is created, was created actually for the ProSIM. And a lot of functions you can use there. If you have any question, just contact me.